Welcome back to Open Line. We are talking about the bill that would ban child marriage in Tennessee. It has been a bizarre journey for that bill. It was actually sent off to summer study where it basically means it wouldn't pass. Now it's been resurrected, but there'll be debate on it again tomorrow. We have with us Representative David or Darren Jernigan and Senator Jeff Yarborough, the sponsors of the bill. We're streaming this on Facebook, and there are a lot of comments on Facebook. I'm going to read some of the comments, then we'll take some calls. Uh, Mike Moorfield says, it's really sad this even has to be discussed. I think that would be in line with what you all have been saying. Ovid Creasy says, my wife was 16, I was 19, we'll be married 66 years on Thursday the 15th. That's good. So here's someone saying, um, you know, his wife was 16 when, when they were married, he was, he was 19. What, 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 what about that situation? Well, I mean, first of all, congratulations yes, on 60 yeah, years. I mean, <laughs> but uh but 60 years ago when they were married it was pretty unusual for anybody to uh, like it wasn't the norm that people graduated from high school it certainly wasn't the norm that 35 percent of uh families in tennessee would be single parent households it was before there were divorce laws frankly before there were uh, domestic, the domestic violence laws were really enforced in the same way. Like we're in a really different time, legal rights-wise, that changes what um, you know, and and frankly, just what expectations somebody can have as a 16-year-old. If you know, I think everybody, if you go in, anybody that's been in Tennessee for very long, if you go back in their family tree, you're going to find. You know some some marriages that happened before 16 oh, and yeah. for a lot of us you're going to find marriages that 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 may have been too close in kinship too but like we have made laws to move past those That's things and we probably should um because what we're seeing right now is not the same thing that was happening uh at that point 60 years ago when i think that really was the norm what you're seeing more and more now is uh, times where we have someone who, uh, you know, usually a woman who doesn't have rights being married to, uh, to someone who, who does and has all the power and all the ability to, to really uh, push that relationship in a bad direction. And, and what would have been the harm, I guess, of, of waiting uh, and you celebrated 64 years of marriage and not 66? I don't... Right. Uh, so I, you could... Okay. So if, you really, if, if love, you loved each other, I don't... I don't understand what the harm would have been. As I, we have a bunch of comments on Facebook. It's, I'm going to read a couple more. And there's several that are supportive. I mean, we had the one that sure. I just read right. uh, from the couple that's been married 66 years, Ov Ovid Creasy. Barbara Stamps Jones, though, points out, I think what's not being said here is children are marrying much older men. So in the case there with Ovid, it was somewhat close. Are you finding that in some cases with this, you're having a young girl marry a much older man? Well, if, what I found out and noticed during this process in Tennessee, if you're, it's four years? Uh, four, if once it's four years, it's... So, so you're, you're a minor, and once it's four years older, that it's statutory rape, whether you're married or not. So if you were to marry someone and say it's six years difference, once they consummated the marriage, it was rape. So that's uh, so that's when our bill would would say that it limits to three years difference. Three year age difference. You're right. Um, but now yeah. that's, that's seven, not the case. Just for the seventeen. No. Just for the seventeen year old that we okay, have. Right. So yeah. under the current law, there's no age uh, requirements at all, and so of the nine thousand marriages that have happened, uh, almost like more more than one out of three of them. Are a minor marrying an adult who's over the age, over 21? I'm reading these comments on Facebook. Um, Helen Blaylock says she got married at age 14. Her husband was 18. They've now been married 41 years. So they're they're people again that, that have been married a long time. Let's let's go um, let's go to Vivian on line two. Hello, Vivian. Yes. Go right ahead. Yes. I know all marriages don't last a long time. I was 15. My husband was almost 22. Until he died, we had been married 68 and a half years. We have two children. One of them's been married 45 years and the other one 37 years. So don't lump everybody in the same pot. Vivian, I'm so glad you called. Can you, 
you you were 15. Was it your decision? Was it your parents' decision? I mean, how did how did this come? How did, how did it come about? It was the old all the family's decision. And where 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 what part of the state are you from? No, well, Nashville, basically. Okay. And do you think that times have changed, or do you think that's still a good way to go about things? Well, I know some people that married in their 20s and 30s. One person in particular has been married five times and still is divorced. <laughs> so you can't put everybody in the same basket and say that it's either good or bad. It depends. I was not pregnant. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we have, okay, thank you. Vivian. My dad signed for me because we all agreed, and we had to go to Kentucky because I couldn't marry here, and he signed for me. So things are different, but you can't put everybody in the same basket. Do you think this bill's not a good idea then, or do you think it's a good idea? I don't think it's necessary to even be discussed because everybody and families are different. I don't agree with either one of them. All right. All right, Vivian, thank you. All right, so there's another case. What do you all say there? Um, I, I would just I would just argue that it's a different time and that if a family has to gather around to make a, a decision, I just don't think a 15-year-old, at least I've got, I've got a 15-year-old, a 16-year-old, girls, and... Uh, there's not enough maturity there to, uh, or developed to know what love is. The, wh about about teenagers that age, they have a very difficult time weighing weighing short-term benefits versus the long-term cost, and it, it, it's their childhood. Right, and I really appreciate what Vivian was saying there, sure. that we shouldn't put everybody in the same in the same bucket, but when we're passing laws, we, we have to. We have to decide what's permissible and what's not. And, you know, sadly, the stories like Vivian's are exceptions to the norm, because if you look at these marriages and how they're happening, they are... I and mean, I'm sure that there are, especially the farther back you go, there are relationships that work in this. But the marriages that are happening now that are using the statute are much more likely to lead to abuse, much more likely to lead to divorce, much more likely to lead to custody disputes, to uh, and to just truly tragic outcomes for people. And that's sort of the the hard part about the laws is that if we're not capable of making individual decisions. I mean, I'm sure that there's plenty of 30-year-olds that some of us would would rather not get married or have kids. But we but we've got to draw these lines somewhere. And for almost everything else in our world, we draw that line at 18. We say that's the time that you get to make an adult decision uh, on your own and that's when you can make a contract, that's when you can uh you know, uh can enter into lots of other agreements, but maybe we shouldn't let you make the most important decision before you're able to make any of those others. And and again, I'll just have to say what if you really loved each other, what would have been the harm in waiting? Right. Right. I, I don't let's go to Mike. Hello Mike. Yep. Go right ahead. Well I can only speak on this from personal experience. Okay. I have a seventeen year old daughter. Um and I am divorced from her mom. Um, I was married, you know, just a little bit over a year and a half before she was born. Um, I personally think that every, everything should be legal age limit of 21. Drinking, marriage, military, all of it. I think as time goes on, you know, the culture that has changed between, you know, when I was a kid, versus to nowadays, there's too many parents that are babysitting their children with, with multimedia tablets and phones and video games and there's not enough engagement between parents and kids. All right. All right I Mike. think if people would spend just a little bit more time with their kids and a little bit less dependent upon those multimedia devices babysitting their kids, our society as a whole would benefit tremendously. All right, Mike, thank you. Thank you for your call. So here we have 
uh, somebody going really a total opposite direction. He's saying people shouldn't be able to get married until they're 21. Um, your bill again, your, the bill that you all have would allow, there, there would be, uh, I guess, possibilities for somebody to marry after age 16, right? So well, you're not, I guess, explain well, that. Well, the, the bill that we we originally drafted and, and proposed, and I think what would be the best thing for the state, is we just would draw a bright line at 18. Right. Um, okay, that was the original bill. That's the bill. Um, we are we are currently in, in conversations with uh, some members of, you know, with other people in the General Assembly who want to cr to allow for this possibility of kind of the, the high school sweetheart situation, which I don't think happens that much, but I think that that is the, 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 the thought that ha the people have in their mind and are trying to, to preserve an option for the 17 year old who's marrying someone that's close in age and that and you know with support of their families and that kind of kind of thing so we're we're at least what was done in Kentucky and Florida is uh, is creating a lot of is, is actually bringing the court into that to actually evaluate whether this is something that's being undertaken voluntarily whether you know people have the right supports in place Domestic and violence, the capacity to, yeah. to deal with it and frankly also making sure that you give the give the sort of the minor the ability to marry and then but you also then give them the time after that order happens to wait and decide and be emancipated from their parents and enter into that marriage voluntarily and so that's really what um, what's what, what what I think you saw in Kentucky and Florida and what at least some of our colleagues are proposing and we're at least going to be willing to have some of those conversations but I think that uh, I, you know at least for me I th I still think that 18 would be the best way to go here yeah, I agree. and simpler so it's a fluid situation in the Senate yeah. it passed right no, so no it hasn't so it passed in a committee okay, so it passed it, in a committee it passed overwhelmingly in committee and then we had a debate uh, about it on the on the on the Senate floor and one of my colleagues who had con some concerns asked me to to put it to, to roll it for a week so that we could actually have conversations like like this one and uh, when you're in the in the legislature I think you have to be willing to work with people and and hear them out and understand whether they have you know different ideas so our last caller Mike said it should be 21 or up Emily Sundin also on Facebook says 21 and up so there's also that other side you know so when you hear somebody say it should be 21 and up you know what, what do you say I think they're, what they're probably thinking and, and as you go as you grow older and you have more experiences and you're more mature I got married at 38 I'm, and I it, I knew what I wanted I've had experiences I, and so at this point 21 I think the older you get the more successful you're probably going to be with your marriage and that's probably what they're thinking is, is having some kind of experience behind them Mike Moorefield on Facebook says it's really sad we have to have this discussion <clears throat> true Barbara Stamps Jones says we should at least get kids out of their teens before they marry but again then there are other people who are saying we had a successful marriage um, at a very young age here on Facebook. So we're going to take a break. Uh, continue to comment as we stream this live on our Facebook page. I'll read some of those comments. Also call in. Uh, I'll get to the calls, Bob and others. Uh, hold on the line. Take a break. Be back right after this.